Girl, I can't lie. Hi guys, it's Chi Chi. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a part two, a part two to a video that I uploaded in like February. It's just a little video titled going to the worst rated natural hair salon in my city where basically I went to the worst rated hair salon ever and had the worst time of my life. But today, instead of going to the worst rated hair salon, I will be going to the best rated hair salon. To be fair, I'm going to be getting the same exact thing that I got in that video, in this video. All I basically did was get cornrows for that video, so all I really need for this video is to get cornrows because I need them for my wigs. I have two big pimples on my forehead. I don't know what's going on with my forehead, but my forehead's like pimple city. I'm like actually really nervous for this video. I'm more nervous to go to this hair salon than I am to go to the worst rated one because for the worst rated one, I had already been there before and like I knew what to expect but for this one I've never been there I don't know what to expect I made my appointment for today at one o'clock but before we get into this video I just want to give you guys some information about the hair salon that I'm going to okay guys I'm reading the reviews for this place right now and I just want to say that this place has 4.3 stars which isn't five stars but it's not terrible you know what i'm saying and it actually has a lot of mixed reviews there are a bunch of people giving it five stars and four stars but then there are a couple people who are giving it two stars and one star i don't want to read their reviews because it's just so long but basically the first woman basically said that the people don't have skills when it comes to cornrows which is really bad because i'm going there to get cornrows and the hair just wasn't the way she wanted it and she felt like she wasted her money so basically for the next Review, the person showed um, the braiders a picture of exactly what she wanted. The result just didn't come out the way the picture looked. Um, she's saying that she was trying to get some spring braids for $160. She said that over the phone they agreed that this would be $160 and when she got there they were trying to charge her $180. So it looks like we have some scammers on our hands. A lot of other people are saying that they've been going here for years and that they love this place. This place is like a second home to them. Some people are saying Saying that the prices are fair but a lot of other people are saying that the prices are overpriced but by reading these comments i'm getting the idea that i could just negotiate a price with them the price they told me on the phone was 50 dollars but i think it's because they thought my hair was long but my hair is short i think that they think that i want extensions but i don't want extensions so i'm gonna go there and i'm gonna try to negotiate and make this 40 dollars $40 was the price that um, the other salon charged me. The thing about the other salon is that the other salon had low reviews. The place was very messy, very dirty. The people were very unprofessional. So $40 was just a lot. Plus they're only braiding my hair with like no extension or anything. So $40 is quite a bit. But for this place, this place has greater review um i saw pictures and the inside looked a bit better apparently these people are more skilled so if they charged me 40 dollars, it wouldn't be the same plus i only have 59 dollars in my bank account and i'm not trying to have only nine dollars in my bank account until the end of july so yeah there's another review saying that they had a horrible experience because because what she did was something like the picture um, she spent $200 on micro braids and then a bunch of people are just saying that this place is awesome and all that stuff So overall this place has fairly good reviews But there are also some people who just you know didn't have a good time and I feel like that's kind of how it is for every place There's always gonna be like those one or two or three people who don't like it. Um, but I'm excited and nervous to go here Okay, I'm gonna go and I'll see you guys when I'm right outside Hi I'm good. I'm sorry. It's so hot I'm outside. Loaded. Nice huh? to meet you. How are you? I'm good. good. All right. Um, you can have a seat on that chair. Um, I just want my hair like my this, hair like that, but no tuck in. I just braid it. Yeah, just braid it straight back, straight back, straight back. No okay. tucking. No tucking. Okay. And I want this to be around 10 braids. 10 braids. Okay. Mm -hmm. How much would it all cost? Uh, yeah, it would be like I said, it would be 50. 50? Mm -hmm. Would you consider this long or short hair? We don't go by length, length of hair. We just go by the type of braid we have today.
Okay, so the reason why I said this is because when I was making this appointment on the phone, I asked what the price was and she said it would range from 40 to $80 depending on how long your hair is. And she asked how long my hair was and I said it was medium length. And she said, okay, so $50. Okay, so medium length is $50. So short length would be $40. I was just trying to see what you know she was trying to do here because she was making it seem as if she did the prices based on how long your hair was so that's why i asked what do you consider my hair blah 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 and then she literally capped and was like we don't do it by length when literally on the phone you told me that you did it by length uh. okay Okay, so I'm done, but we can't talk about the braids right now. Can't talk about the experience right now because um, when I went to pay, she said they don't accept card. And I'm just like, what? How do you not accept card payments? Like, this isn't a drug deal. Yeah, right now I'm the car. 
I'm trying to find the nearest Bank of America. I'm gonna look at an egg. <laughs> and now I'm on my way to Bank of America so I can get some money. After I take this $50 out of my bank account, I will officially have $9 in my bank account. I think I get paid in two days, so yay. But I'm gonna be really poor for the next two days. Can't believe it. Okay guys, so it's actually the next day. As soon as I got home yesterday, I took a lot of ibuprofen because my scalp was throbbing and I went to sleep. But it's the next day, I'm fresh. And these are my braids. Yup, these are my braids. Let me get y'all close up. Let me just go through my whole experience again. Um, so I got there and I was really nervous because you know, these are new people working on my hair. I don't know them, never met them. So I was nervous. I walk in and the place looks nothing like the picture. For a hair salon that is rated so high, I just expected more from the appearance of it. Everything just looks so dull and worn out and stuff. This is the place that y'all are rating 4.3, but okay so when i walked in i was greeted by the hairstylist to be honest when i got there i didn't get the best vibe from her or maybe it was just her face she kind of had this like resting face and i couldn't tell if she like liked me or not or just wanted me there or not or whatever but she had this crazy resting face and i was like whoa <laughs> Blow your horses, blow your horses. So she starts um, doing my hair and the first thing she does is detangle that hair like a mother trucker. Maybe I'm saying this because I'm like high maintenance or whatever, but whenever someone is doing something for me, like doing my hair, doing my nails, doing my lash extensions, I want them to narrate what they're doing before they do it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if she's doing my hair and she starts off with um, detangling, I want her to say, so first, I'm gonna detangle your hair because this reason, this reason, and this reason, you know? Just so that I know what she's doing and it's great to have like a heads up. But she didn't do any of that, which is fine, I guess. I feel like that's kind of just like the, what's the called? The something, something of me, anyway. So, so she starts detangling my hair and that hurt it. Like, oh my god. I literally felt like I was gonna scream. And it's not like she brushed my hair dry. She put water on it, but the water didn't do it, to be honest. Then she brings out the blow dryer. And here's just the one thing that I hate, hate, hate that hairstylists always do. If you're gonna put heat on a client's hair, you have to ask them first. You can't just assume that they want it because some people are really like sensitive about, you know, heat damage and all that stuff. And you don't know if that's what your client wants or not. The fact that she didn't even ask to put heat on my hair kind of made me a bit frustrated. But even if she did ask, I would have said yes. And plus the amount of heat that she was putting on my hair was a good amount of heat that would make me feel comfortable. So after she blow dried my hair, she started to braid it. And the braiding was fine. The braiding was actually more than fine. It was really good. Like you guys see these braids, like they're so neat and so straight. I tried to pay her with my card. It basically says she's an accept card. So I had to go to the bank and get like cash so I can pay her. And then I left. Overall, I think I had a pretty decent experience. This experience was definitely better than the worst rated hair salon experience that I had. The couple things that I didn't like about this salon and everything in general was that the facility was dirty. Um, the price, way too high. Way too high. There are little things that she could have done that could have made the experience 10 times better. Like, you know, asking to put heat on my hair, telling me what she's going to do with my hair before she does it. Overall, I had a pretty decent experience. Will I go back to the salon? No, because it is way too expensive. Guys, I am all for supporting black business, but I also know when I'm getting scammed. And I know that these braids, straight back cornrows with no extensions, are not worth $50. So for that reason and for that reason only, I will not be going back here. Yeah, that was my experience. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more content from me. That's all I have to say. Bye guys.